No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. Um, to day two of our Dragon Ball Fusion World Regional in Germany. I'm today again with my commentator Christian. Hello, guys. And we, yeah, as you heard, the top 16 breakdown. We have a really diverse meter. And which deck impressed you the most from day one, Christian? Yeah, I, I really followed the tournament with the utmost hype for the new format as we don't see the red domination, even though Manuel showed us yesterday that red is still definitely a contender. Yeah. Uh, but I think Frieza is the standout deck for this event. Um, uh, uh, Enzo showed us that even though the red matchup is unfavored, you can still win it. Um, and yeah, I think we also have yellow is the most shown deck in the top cut. We have six decks in total, four Freezers and two new Vegetas. So it seems that even though Freeza seems to be the better leader, all the, the other yellow leaders are also in the meta. Yeah. So I, do you have any favorite deck which isn't like the greatest meta pick at the moment? Yeah, I really like the the guys trying out the red starter Goku. Yeah. Like before this event, I don't think a lot of people really knew this deck was any good. We've seen most people after adjusting for a top coup went back to like the U7 Goku or the Beerus. And I think really the upstart deck of the tournament is that starter Goku that gives you the battle trick of saving your battle cards in your opponent's combo phase while also applying additional pressure with the easy 5k every round. Yeah, and um, I was kind of impressed with the cell deck because I thought, okay, if you want to play green, just play Android 17. It does kind of the same, but better. But we saw on stream that the cell is a really strong deck because you could loop the, um, the cell 8 cost every turn and still had the cell junior as a replay to just grab your gigantic meteors back to your hand. I think just these plays you could do every turn was really impressive to me. So yeah, yeah. I had I a lot of fun watching the cell deck yesterday. Yeah, well we don't have a cell in top cut now. Android seems to be like still the pick for green. But I agree with you, the feature match we showed yesterday with the cell in air, that was uh, really something else. Um, we see between the Android lists, there are some that run the new field spell that uh, lets them basically ramp one from the drop every round for just one green. Uh, but others seem to not enjoy this card as it may be too slow sometimes. And just stick with the OG package of like the extra card Vegeta and then the new Android Rare that just uh, plays for four and then sacrifices to energy and getting three new ones, so basically playing it for one, getting a body and a ramp. Really great card, putting the deck into contention again. Yeah, but I'm a big fan of the field space. Even in the cell deck, you had, instead of the uh, Giro's Lab, you have the uh, Tournament Arena. It kind of does the same, it's just one energy more costly. But I think this uh, the ramp is pretty important to have something to ramp every turn, even if you don't have the cards in hand. So you do it just passively, kind of like a passive income. Mm -hmm. So I think oh, in the long game, it's really important to keep up your energy without doing anything for it. That's why yeah. I think it's, uh, if I would play green deck, I would include it every time. Yeah, I agree with you. Also the, the cell arena we saw yesterday has the advantage of not costing any energy, but it's one more expensive to play it. Um, but it also has the option to, like, uh, instead of ramping the card, you can take it to hand. So if you are stuck for, like, you don't have enough combo power really to play it and you see a super combo, you might not want to charge that and take it to hand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I really like the, uh, the field spells for both decks. So yeah. what are we looking at at our feature match, you? We have, again, Manuel Garcia at Starter Goku versus Christoph with uh, Blue Vegeta. Ah, and uh... he's a player we know already. He's from one of our locals. He always likes to play Blue. And let's see if it's enough to play against Manuel Garcia. But I think Blue is a bit favored in this matchup because all the advantage Red tries to uh, get on board 
Luke could just play sickle and Vegeta has a big hand size and even if it gets lower he can just get it back to his seven cards because of the beloved chain if he plays it I mean I think he's playing it yeah I mean so we were just looking at two titans in their respective color like Manuel always sticking with red and uh, Christoph always sticking with blue yeah. so we can then see how these guys fare against each other um I'm really looking forward to seeing that because we didn't see red versus blue yesterday. Um, and this is like, as we said before, like in the top coup meta, like blue was the only color that really could contain the red deck, right? Yes. But um, even if blue has the edge over red, in our opinion, it doesn't mean that Manuel is losing. Because as we saw yesterday, Enza won against starter coup with Frieza. And this in good fashion. He just played with the cooler and won. He just knew the matchup. He knew how to beat Red. That's oh. why I'm not sure who's going to win this game. With that, we go to the table, the player setting up. Uh, as per rules, uh, as Manuel is the higher seat, he gets to decide who starts, and he decides that he wants to start this game. Again. Yeah, Manuel didn't go second once while we see him, but maybe that changed today, as today we will play best of threes, not best of ones for the top card. Both players seem to be ready, Manuel drawing for the turn, and we're off to start. Good luck to both of the players, Manuel and Christoph. Yeah, just starting easily with a cantrip. Yeah, it's always on the early turns, not a lot happening. Once again, shoutouts to Christoph's sleeves. I always like seeing art sleeves. There is a turn two. So Manuel has a Kefla in hand and a Krillin. So the early self awaken is not yeah, a problem for yeah, him. Yeah, the Caulifla crit, you mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's I mean the Caulifla crit. Really cool card. Uh, obviously, he will go down in life here. And this time he's actually attacking, so he's not concerned about uh, giving Kristoff any good piece to attack. There's but instead he's deciding to get some damage in. Kristoff deciding against that, comboing off that pilaf, yeah. And we see a lot of extra cards in Kristoff's hand. And he decides to charge one away. Yeah, it's... He has to attack the uh, Caulifla. Uh, if he just wakes into the leader, he could awaken on the next turn. It wouldn't be any helpful for him. Uh, deciding not to combo into it, just using the energy marker for a three cost. Seems to be the Vegito. Oh, it's a sickle, actually. Oh, Early sickle. sickle. Early sickle for these two cards. I don't know. Would you yeah, agree that this I play did... is kind of strange? Maybe he has not the best hand right now? It's... Oh, but he still has one sickle in hand, so so he started with three sickles, I guess. Yeah, just getting rid of uncomboable cards. Christoph maintaining the board state equally. And again. <laughs> Manuel just sticking with the old game plan here. And Christoph didn't take one life yet. He's just comboing out, doesn't want to take any critical damage here. Yeah, but the normal damage he will take. Yeah, I mean, on the... That's fair. Just get the basil rolling. Just getting the Gohan. Yeah, I mean, Manuel is really looking like he knows that Christoph will not attack his life, so he has to awaken basically all his life by himself. Yeah, uh, but that's fine. It's still red. Even with get red it. losing Roshi, it's still really easy to do, yes. Crystal thinking how he wants to approach this turn. Seems to be attacking the Kaulifla again. Oh no, the leader actually. It seems. thinks it's the leader. Maybe he just wants to play something down and swing into the leader again. Does yeah, he have defending, Gito? Defend. Well, I mean, he has the secret rare. I don't know if he has the three cost. 
But the three cost would be great as it gets rid of the Caulifla as well on summon. Yeah. And then swing into leader and he has to waste one card in hand. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that's that exactly is. what we see. So why can he do that? Because on summon he bottom decks a one cost. But his permanent effect is as long as Christoph has seven or less cards in hand, the cost of cards on Manuel's board is reduced by one. Yeah, that's a fine play. He's forcing Manuel at least one card out of his, out of his hand. Yeah, also, it's a 25k. Yeah, he doesn't need to combo out into it. That's great. Yeah, but he couldn't use the Basil on board just to combo no, out. No. Crystal still on 7 life. That's the plan for Vegeta. Stay high on life, maintain board, win game. Yeah, he's not really reliant on self-awakening at all. As uh, Blue doesn't gain a lot from awakening early. Um, and Vegeta just becomes a late game threat every time because he's basically a 35k attacking every round. Yeah, he's getting the huge attack buff. But Kristoff maintained, uh, was pretty good at managing the board of Manuel with just a few cards in his hand. Yeah, he used the early sickle to get rid of these, then used the Vegito to get rid of the other, while also forcing cards out for Mano to combo, so this is really nice. Yeah. Seems like Christoph knows this matchup. Yeah. There we see like the bread and butter card of the deck. Gohan always a high value target. Being offensive twenty five K, also minusing on the Vegito. Yeah. And he's attacking oh, wow. with that. Really nice play, getting to 10k on 10k. So asking Christoph, do you want to commit two cards to save it? Because the leader swing is also still available. Yeah, it's. I don't think it's necessary. No, he just put it away. Yeah, but great combo from Manuel. Just buffing the basil with the leader effect. It is. Leader effect opens up such pretty new avenues for playing around with your E. Well, it's with your useless cards basically, right? The basil like on board wouldn't do anything except for being like maybe combo power. Yeah. But in this case, uh, he could really use it to get rid of a high value target, right? Yeah, that's that was a good play for him. So, for energy turn, what can Christoph do? I think the real game for him starts once he's at uh, 5 energy, which gives him access to like the secret rare uh, uh, Bajito. Yes. But uh, on the 4 energy turn, we will see. I think he will just try to manage the board as good as possible and maybe use some of his uh, one drops to just maintain his hand size. I mean, at least there is one peel off in the drop already. If he wants to start the p love chain, he could he could do it, but it's always dangerous against red because of the minus zone effects. Yeah, just decides to get some extra cards. We know from previous games that Manuel is playing the Gohan that minus tens the board, and this is a great card against the uh, Christoph flooding the board with just five power cards. Yeah, he has it already in hand. Seems to be attacking here, going up yeah. to. Oh. 20 using that skill. Yeah, but this is, as, as you see, uh, he has the Go Tanks in hand, so he's just setting up to have uh, Go Gohan and, uh, no, Goten and Trunks in the drop. But as we see, this turn wasn't like the best for Kristoff, really. Yeah. Not a lot of impact here. <laughs> if he needed the Trunks in the drop, he could just have uh, played it, swing with Vegeta, and combo the Trunks into it. But maybe he forgot the leader effect, I don't know. Yeah, it would have been probably better to attack with the leader, but I, I don't think uh, a lot of people played against the starter Goku, as he, as we mentioned, is not really, wasn't really a thing before this tournament. Yeah, I mean, I would have forgotten it too. I mean, you see, like this is like the the beauty of this game. Manuel has a great hand size, but Blue is always kind of deceptive with the hand size. First of all, Christoph didn't awaken yet. So this is basically from one life and the awaken you get two extra cards. 
and it's really easy to just stay around seven with blue with all your cards basically giving you plus ones if you are be below the seventh card threshold and Christoph's still comboing out sand even with his low hand size he still combos out yeah, he probably didn't want to take the 25 or potentially 30k swing on 4 life. That's why he does that. But we see That's the golden thing, the golden always is dead to the Gohan on board. Well, deciding to go into the hits. Really looking to get down Christoph's life before he wants to take with the big Gohan. Okay, going down to 5. Yeah, it's crazy how Christoph Ooh. maintained his hand, uh, his life size, while being pummeled against. Yeah, right. is he awake? Yeah, he can, can now awaken, but this this go on is going to swing for a lot. Yeah, and there goes the golden. Plusing it, comboing <laughs> it, so the 35k. We will see how Christoph decides to handle this. One super combo would suffice to get out of this. Yeah. Finally they awake and Christoph's hand looking good again. Yeah, he still has two energy open, so maybe he has a Gallic gun or something in hand to maneuver this attack. Yeah, and there's the Gallic gun. And the fun part of a Gallic gun, is it a can he just get it back from the drop? Uh he can not get it back. I think it's a Saiyan card, not an earthling oh, card. Yeah. Would have been a um, would it would it have been um, yeah he could have get it with an Earthling check just with the peel of back but sadly it's a saying card and yeah, there's also the final hope slash which we didn't see yet but probably is in the deck as this is an Earthling card but this can only be used as an offensive twenty k combo while also bouncing a card from the opponent let's see how Christoph will fare against this board of Manuel. I mean, he has the Vegeta secret, he has a sickle, so it's not impossible for him. I don't think he is too bad, it's too sad with the situation right now, yeah. Yeah, and he still has the big 35k swing with his leader, so he's able to get rid of the board, I think. Yeah. Also, a cool thing with all these cards that check for your hand size being 7 or lower. As you play them, they check in the resolve, so you can play them as the 8th hand card, and they would still get their effects. Manuel just comboed a super combo into the shit. Just want to try to save him. Yeah. Super combo is not really interesting for Manuel, as he is the aggressor. Just uses yeah. it to yeah, keep his board Vegito. size. Paying 5 will most likely be the Vegito, and it is. Bouncing back one hit and then attacking into the Gohan. So 35 into 20, right? Yes, but he decided to use leader ability and one card in hand. But obviously, the Vegito restands as Crystal Sand size is 7 or below. And we will probably see the same attack again. I'm pretty sure Manuel will keep this guy around. Two super combos used, really nice. Getting the most value, keeping his board up. And with the Gohan still there, it's highly likely that the Vegito will not live this round. Do you think playing the sickle would have been a better play in this situation? I mean, it definitely gets rid of two cards, but one would still remain because he didn't have a swinger. Yes. And with this, he just establishes a board presence, I think, um, even though with the Gohan not going down. That is kind of unfortunate. But um, I think the Vegito is the correct play here because he couldn't even use the two energy he wouldn't have spent to play anything good from what I see in his hand right now. And yeah, now really we see what the cards on board do to the battle cards being left over and forcing out cards from Christoph. That's another swing, minusing the Vegito again. 
Going up to 30k with the leader ability. Decides to use a super combo, I think, or what's that? That's not a super combo, it's why the juice. It, one of the opponent's did, bad cards with two why, return at his hand. Why was that enough? Didn't he? I did not use the leader ability on it. I saw that wrong. Okay. So it was with 25k. Yes. So Manuel may look into some plays now, paying two. The hit probably comes back. Yeah, that is it. Now minus 25k on that. Vegito. And Vegito being on 5k feels bad. Yeah, and I don't think he will stay at this 5k for long. So he can just swing with a cantrip again. If he decides to do that, yeah. And he still has the leader ability available to him. Four energy left. Oh, is it a um, go on again? Just to Goku KOing it. Yeah, and one more cantrip. So with this, he could swing for 30 or even 35k if he decides to do it. Or you could leave the basil up for some shenanigans or extra combo power on defense. Well, that's a nice spot Zeno could remove. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. Now Goku being on 30k. Yes. Will either force a super combo? Yeah, yes, yeah, so super combo. Is, is you don't, exactly he don't, does. he doesn't want to go into double strike range. And let's see if Christoph does have the Zeno right now. Or if he decides to maneuver this turn differently. And charging a sickle again. Yeah, pushing up. No, oh, I don't. No, there's, oh, a, Zeno. there's a Zeno. The second card is a Zeno. Yeah. So it could be played here, and I think Christoph is debating on if he wants to use the Sickle, maybe, or the Zeno here to just get back on the board and really contest Manuel again. And first he will attack. This attack will determine how this plays out, I think, because one, if he Manuel decides to let this battle card go, we may see Sickle. Yeah, he lost decided. So Christoph getting extra information before deciding on how he wants to dress. It still goes for Zeno. So that Vegeta's attack, Mal read, read it perfectly, not giving Christoph any advantages. And Zeno is only a 20k card, so we will see if he decides to attack or not. He does not. Christoph being only at four cards in hand, it's kind of looking tough for him now. But Manuel lost a big board, so let's see if he can establish a new board. I mean, but... Manuel's also not at too many cards, like seven or eight, but he still could charge. But we see I mean... he has still super combo left, and the double striker oh. goes to the energy. Charging the double striker. With seven energy left now, so this is clearly... So... A sign oh. that he, yeah, one more he double strike. Huh? And I also saw the glimpse in his hand, I think, and this is definitely a lot of power. And he's playing the double striker already. I mean, it's fine if he gets the double strike um, hit, so every hit after what would be lethal, so it's fine. Yeah, we see how he maneuvers this. Like, if he attacks with the glimpse here on the Goku, uh, on the super, uh, on the double striker, I'm pretty sure Christoph has no option but to take it. But he's probably deciding if he can commit with the leader some combo into it to get the extra damage. No combos, I think. So, Christoph just comboing out with a Gohan, Goten. Going for 40. No. Glimpse used. Still, yeah. Christoph, no choice but to take it. 
And now we really see the power that Glimpse provides here. He can leave it up defensively, which probably won't need it. But next turn, every card that swings can potentially swing for basically 35k more because he gets one 10k combo from the drop. Yeah, it's it's gonna be old for Sickle. Yeah, really had a lot of Sickles. So how can Christoph win this game and turn it around? Yeah, it's not looking too good. I mean, maybe a Goku Black would be nice, but I don't see him having one. I Taking think 35. I saw one, but is there even a, a possibility that he can do deal four damage in one turn? I'm not sure. No, no, I think that's the Goku Black. Oh yeah, yes. he has it. But this will definitely get him some hand size because he can back get back the Goten, uh, Gotenks, and with the summon of this, he can back get back a Goten and a Trunks kid. Yeah. Good combo. But he has to swing first, right? To summon it. Yes, that is correct. And we will see how he approaches this going to the uh, super rare. Now getting the trunks and the, some golden back to send. Yes, that is 20k combo power just basically for nothing. But with Christoph being at one life, we are still in a scary spot for him. Yes, every hit has to be defended afterwards. Christo was thinking if he wants to combo in, decides against it, easy 10k combo out from Manuel. Yeah, a Gallic gun would have would have would have helped him a lot. And he decides it's to again. Get 10k more combo power on defense. I think yeah, Manuel is really happy great. with how this turn played out. Yeah, I don't think he has a charge anymore. Probably not. He can no. charge the zero cost. Zero K combo, yeah. Doesn't really do a lot. And he definitely wants to play the Gohan beforehand to just get rid of some combo power from Christoph. And I think it's highly likely that this will be the last turn of our game one. I'm pretty but we sure. We will see what Christoph can bring to the table now. Yeah, getting rid of the uh, pillar, so 10k combo less. Manuel going down to free. I mean, he can do it. He just needs more cards in hand to combo. Yeah, also taking the life, obviously, for that meta, yeah. I hope uh, Christoph will just combo the Gotenks back uh, down, because if he leaves it on the field, it will get removed anyways. Yeah, and he doesn't. How would it get removed? Is there a Goku who can remove it? Oh, no, oh, Gotenks is 25k, yeah, right? Yeah. Also, it's in uh, summon, but yeah. I thought it was a 20k. It's still better to get, take the 5k from board you right there, though. And just getting extra cards to combo. 10k combo acquired. And I think with the appending glimpse, it's hard for Christoph to do anything against this attack. Yeah, and there's the glimpse. Yeah, he could have yeah. gotten one more life with the Caulifleum, so he basic oh, oh two man. glimpses. Two <laughs> okay. glimpses, yeah, yeah. I mean, he missed ten k. He missed ten k combo, but this is not a matter here. Christoph easily getting overrun by two glimpses, and in that case, he didn't miss any combo because he needed the energy for both these cards. Aaron, that's what I meant. Even if blue seems to be favored, it doesn't mean that blue will win this game. Manuel yeah, being the good player he is, he knows what to do, and he won the unfavored matchup. Yeah, we'll see how things change once Christoph goes first, because I'm pretty sure this is what we're going to see now. Or he actually takes the marker and lets Manuel go first. We will see about that. 
I mean, even if Christoph didn't know how to play against it, he knows it now. I mean, yeah, Christoph knew how to play against it. I think it's only once that he forgot the 5k from the leader, but uh, I don't think it would have changed in yeah. this game, yeah. Seems to want to stay on the energy marker. So even with the changes, he's planning to go second, it seems. Okay. I'm... Yeah, we will see if it's going to work out for him. And both players thinking if a mulligan is in order, just of deciding it is. And Manuel keeping his hand. I mean, what we see it really come down to is the super combos on Manuel's part. He has to use them smartly to defend his battle cards to maintain the field size. Because he's not using them offensively anytime soon. And it's better to keep the attackers then. And yeah. let's see how we see what we will see this game. Guys taking the dice again to indicate their life to us. And, and we're off to no, game two. No can trap this time for Manuel. And he has a sickle already in hand. Again, a lot of extra cards for Christoph here. Two Gallic guns and one sickle. I think that's one Vegito right next to the Gallic guns. So the the control he can establish here is good. Oh, he's taking it early this time. Yeah, I think this time is the cards he has in hand. He kind of wants to keep them. And we see the Kef uh, Caulifla again. This time not attacking. Yeah. He wants that the Vegeta has to attack this leader. Yeah, Manuel is really looking to awaken next turn. Goes one Gallican. If he has the Vegito right here, he could use it to just get rid of this Cauliflower. Oh, he's debating about it. Yeah, he has one. And I think he's doing it. There's the Vegito. Yeah, Manuel already knowing what comes down here. Preemptively takes his card to the bottom deck. And now Christoph is deciding whether he wants to let Manuel awaken next turn or not. I think not swinging is the right play. Yes. I mean, it's, it's always said not to swing with your leader so you can't draw a card, but Manuel... Still has to do the self awakening for himself now. And we will see if the Gohan is now a card of choice here because it needs to attack in order to self awaken, which would Christoph give would give Christoph new targets to attack. This time not too hesitant to take his life. The approach this time for his life is way different than before. In game one he comboed everything out. To maintain a high life, but this time he just took two life already. Yeah, just on summon. Pester. If he would have another, which he do, it would be great too. It doesn't seem to have one here, but still has some cards that uh, do a lot. 
depending on what's the charge here. I think there are two Xenos in his hand. And with the trunks, two cost, I think it's also possible to bounce back this Krillin. And this time, counting up his hand size, and decides to attack, counting his hand beforehand to know if he goes above the 7 or 8 card threshold, depending on if he plays a card or not. This is something you have to keep track of with blue, because some of your effects don't work when you're to a high hand size. Yeah, that's why early combo is pretty okay for blue. To be Cheeto. Yeah, this time Christoph being the way more aggressive part here. Comboing up to 30k with this one. No, 35k actually. 35. I mean, seems like a super combo. Yes, and there it is. Yeah, but there's one super combo less for basically a free swing. We will probably see the trunks come down here. Which yeah, will... trunks being at 25 now. Five into twenty. Hey, Christoph being way more aggressive than last game. Yeah, he seems to be more comfortable in this game now. Let's see how Manuel works this out. Seems to have a lot of options, thinking for quite some time. Yeah, just swinging into the trunks, moving a sport, gain control of this game. And getting additional info with the cards drawn. Even though Christoph played way more aggressively, he's still at 6 life at this point. Yeah. But I like this play style. Down. Oh, Krillin is at 25 now, right? If he used the leader effect on it, he is, yeah. Oh, the Gallican. Yeah, going up to 30 on a 25k swing seems smart. Minusing the Vegito, and there it is, Goku KOing a 20k. I just removing this guy, really important, and well, he didn't use it on the Krillin actually, so this is now at 30k, but I think Christo was happy to take this. Still at 5 life, so that's a great spot. Christoph going now into his 4 energy turn. And last time, we didn't see a great 4 energy turn from Christoph. Really only playing to 1 costs last time. Yeah, so but this time he's, he has the sickle, so he could better use Better options, yeah. You know, sickle seems... Well, it's 2 sickles, so this looks like a really playable card <laughs> here. Yeah, it seems to have 2 sickles, 2 leno. One Pilaf, one Goku Black, one Super Combo, and I think it's a Gotings. Yeah. Yeah, the story that goes. Yeah. So he's still missing the Go uh, Go to uh, Vegito Secret Rare. Yeah. But she probably wants to find within the next few draws. Just try and ask him Manuel. Just using that. Yeah. Oh. He has three Zenos in hand now. Yeah, but they are still 10k combos, which isn't too bad, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just using the sickle now. Getting rid of these guys. 
And there are not a lot of cards in this game that shuffle your deck after like the initial mulligan. So these cards are gone for good. Yeah, bottom deck is gone forever. You won't see them again. Oh, he's playing something for one. Yeah, probably a peel off, yeah. Getting the gold things, uh, golden back. Yeah, I think he just wants to establish one peel off in the drop at some point, and this seems to be a good play, even though it will most likely be easily removed by either a Whis or a Gohan. Manuel just counting how to win this match. And two, again, two glimpses in hand already. Yeah. But he's still he off has... some turns before he can use these. And he has a hit, so that's not a problem to re establish a board for him. That's the beauty of red. You can't have a small, uh, you can't have a board with small guys on the field. Yeah, but as you mentioned, I mean, Christoph knew that his peel off wasn't long for this board, yeah. just establishing one and drop. I mean, now he just achieved an extra peel off and drop while he also comboed the Golden off that he just searched last turn. But also forcing Manu to just have one of these removals, right? Yeah, yeah there is another nice. Cutlass board. And that is a 25k crit swing. I think he used the leader ability on her. Oh, and he this takes will it. do critical damage here. Just a sickle, not too bad for uh, Christoph. So here's the thing. The board looks massive, but Manuel doesn't look too hot. So if he just uses the Zeno and it gets removed, Manuel still has to do the work to re-establish a big board. I mean, with two turns off the Zeno, right? Because Christoph went second. But um, also the board Manuel established isn't like as threatening as last game with him having the the Gohans. Um, this time, basically just uh, call Leaf land the hit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he decides to combo up to 30 on this attack. There's the wake. But as we know, Manuel has two glimpses in hand, so he's really looking to deal some free damage as much as possible. Christoph establishing the go tanks in the drop area for maybe later Goku Black plays. Oh, there's the Vegito. That's a really nice top deck in the situation. Because this looks like a really. Oh, he's actually charging it away. Well, let's see how he this. I think there's a Goku Black right next to it. I would be would be curious if he charges it away, but we will see. Yeah, I think charging the Gotenks would be okay too, or even the Zeno. Yeah. I mean, he he needs the Vegito. I think so too, yeah. And just asking Manuel a question Do you want to keep your board alive? Do you have your super combos again? Or it would be great. Oh, nice. But that is good for Christoph because he still has the Vegito. Oh, he drew another one, I think. <laughs> yeah, this time the, the alternative art. Resting three, he's siding against the Vegito Pickle. and going for the Sickle. That is also good. Yeah, that's this great. Time, he still doesn't lose combo power off of this. Just passing yeah. again. But it's great for Christoph. He got uh, he got rid of two of the battle cards and got rid of one super combo. Yeah, and the cool part about Vegito is. It's a secret rare, but it has 5k combo, so it's not... I think it's that actually the third glimpse we see here. No, he just moved it up front. Maybe he wants to charge it. Uh, 
super combos gone for Manuel. Both players having a, a small laugh here. But this time, also Manuel's hand size isn't as big as last game. So he has two Gohans, I think. Yeah, he has two Gohans, so he may even look into taking some life with those. And that's really why he's debating if he wants to go to six here, because two Gohans is a lot of pressure. Decides against the charge, though. And there it is. Yeah, just comboing off 5k. Oh, there's a hit and a super combo in the hand. Emmanuel is really having a great time with his super combos. Having them right on time. So there's a go on. And using the leader ability, so this is a 30k attack. Oh, there's a super combo from Christoph. There's Just a hit there. glimpse on the Piccolo. Oh, the glimpse on the Piccolo. Just to get back, what is he searching for? I mean, he has some targets to get back to his hand. Yeah. Right, and comboing it in, so this is... Oh, he doesn't? Okay, so this is the 30k. And this will accomplish the damage. Really smart of Manuel not to commit a huge board, because he probably knows that Zeno is still available to Christoph. And then knowing this board isn't uh, too great. An interesting play, using the glimpse on the Piccolo. I had never seen this before. Yeah, I mean, you get so basically a free 30k swing off of this, and he still has a second glimpse, as we saw. I mean, he's, pre he's pretty much telling Christoph, I have a second one with using this play, right? Yeah. But um, yeah, it's still just... I mean, it accomplished the damage it needs, needs to do. And um, we're go going close into the two-life threshold for a double strike from Manuel. And this is 35 on the 20k Gohan, so we will probably see this super combo fly again. Not this time, though. Deciding, okay, I probably lose this anyway to something. So this really <laughs> makes the life easier for Christoph, though, I think. Christoph oh. having now six energy. Oh, I think it's a Goku Black. Oh, that is a great play, yeah. Definitely crazy, good. Yeah, it is. Getting yeah, back. This is oh, definitely thanks. a great oh. play. Now he's the one in the driver's seat with this play. Manuel now has to combo some of his cards out. Or take some damage, while also Christoph maintaining a huge hand size with this uh, Gotenks drop. Getting two yeah. 10Ks from the drop for basically free. Such a great play. And Manuel just taking the life, not yet in a th any threat of di uh, going down here. So maybe this will go into the Piccolo or the leader. It's the Piccolo. Yeah, that's fine too. Yeah, but this Goku Black is really putting on the pressure. I think Manuel would like to remove this card, definitely. Yeah, it would be better for him to get rid of it. I mean, he doesn't want to get a next swing from him again. And I mean, we saw Manuel play a lot of feature matches over his time here, so we can pretty much sure say that he doesn't play the extra card that just KOs a battle card, but it's also only 30k, so he would have to minus it beforehand. But as he's not playing it, this is out of the window. Looking at two of the Goten, uh, Gotens... Gohan, sorry. Um, there I mean, is an option to get rid of both Gohans, like... but doesn't seem really valuable for him to do it. Yeah, just an easy combo out for Christoph here. Yeah, he just got them back to his hand, so it's fine for him. There is another Gotenks in the hand, so if this Goku Black manages to survive a round, we will most likely do the same thing and expire um, again. Yeah, but Manuel's hand is still big, so that's fine. He still has some things to do. Yeah, definitely. There is still some initiative here from him. Yeah, and there's the goat, uh, the Gohan. Minusing to 30. 
And now we will see how Christoph decides to approach it. Because if this Goku Black manages to stay alive this turn, I think Manuel is in a world of hurt. Yeah, but it's gonna be tough to keep it alive. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this attack isn't really the problem. The next Gohan. The next one. Might be though. Also, Manuel deciding against using the leader ability here. So, this will be at least. This will be at least 30k on a 10k. If Manuel doesn't decide to combo any extra cards here. Decides to go Ooh, to 40. 40. I think that is a smart move, though. Yeah, either way, Christoph is in a disadvantage. Can he combo out? I mean, he knows that Manuel. Okay, cannot. Nope. It is gone. Still manages to keep the go tanks around. So there is some initiative on to attacking Manuel's cards again here. But with him comboing away the Vegeta, he doesn't really have a big threat in hand, I don't think. It would have been great if Crystal still had a second Goku Black in hand, but it doesn't seem yeah. like it. I mean, he still gets one draw off the yeah. Vegeta. He's praying to get it to his hand. But this game is definitely a lot closer than we had in game one. Yeah, for sure. Uh, the new approach of Christoph just taking some life early on and be more aggressive, it it did the work for him. Fighting against the charge. Firstly, buffing up his Vegito with his own ability. And attacking into a Gohan, drawing a card. And that is uh, the final hope slash. And it's gone. And yeah, always maintaining board control. And just seeing Manuel's hand dwindle down over time here. He can even hard cast the go tanks, just making sure he has targets in his drop. You see the beauty of this game. Like you see all the micro decisions that you make at some point. Now come back here. Yeah, so go tanks, return this card to his owner's sand. If your leader is Vegeta, play one go tanks with cost of four from your hand in rest mode. That's a really cool thing. Now he gets the Goten into the drop area here, gets a free attack, and can play the four costs. Really nice combo. So it's basically just leveling up from the base form into the Super Saiyan. Nice in the lore part. Yeah. And getting some cards back to his hand. That's <laughs> it's a good play. I mean, we haven't seen this in game one, but I think this is a cool tech, yeah. And Manuel deciding how much he wants to defend his uh, Gohan here. Is it a super combo? I mean, it's still 10k up. Yeah, he would have to use super combo. And, and there it is. There it is, yeah. Third yeah, Manu combo Manuel card. isn't shy using his super combos for his board. Nice oh, comes in rest mode at least, so there's not an extra attack, but you still get two 10ks, <laughs> which yeah, is kind of nice. I think it's fine for him. And he... Showed what? Did I... I don't mean... didn't matter. Oh, I uh, think he, he showed it that he got the Goatings back yeah, to his yeah. hand. And playing two, this will probably be the Strunks. Yeah. And this is Strunks another 25 k yeah, and Manuel's hand size is down to 4, I think, so... Yeah, I think it's 4. This would be a really big investment comboing out of this. Yeah, it seems like Christoph is in the driver's seat now. Oh, there's the combo. Yeah. And we're going down to 3 cards in the hand. He kind of has to. Yes. I mean, Christoph's hand isn't also too big. Leaving open that energy to maybe have a Gallic gun left. And I see one, I think, down to the left of his hand, so... 
There is a lot of combo available to Christoph, but we know that there is also a glimpse available for Manuel while also moving up to seven energy, so he's really looking to get that double striker. Yeah, but it's great to see that Christoph kind of found it back to the game, even losing the first game, but now it seems like he adapted to Manuel's playstyle. Yeah, and with this game dwindling down in Christoph's favor, we have to take time into account now. It's only 11 minutes on the clock. And this might change Manuel's playstyle with him awakening early. But we will see that if this game concludes into Christoph's favor. And the spelling gun again. is great, just basically not using a card to get rid of one from Manuel. With only three cards left and three life on Christoph's side. This game is really hard for Manuel now. So Manuel has a Basil, Glimpse, and I didn't saw what the last card was in his hand. You can see the trunks getting minused, taking a life here. He knows that... Oh, and that's another Glimpse. <laughs> okay. Two These glimpses. glimpses. But they're not doing too hot if your opponent's at three life, yeah. Yeah. He will maybe play one here just to get something from the drop. Using the lead ability. And there is the double striker, I think he found it. But when he glimpses here... And Christoph smartly deciding to probably come out. Yeah, and that's exactly what he does. So while Manuel found the double striker, now it won't be lethal on free life from Christoph. So we will see if he shifts into removing the board of Christoph here. I think he is. Then he can also leave up the glimpse defensively with him establishing the five cost. No, yeah, he decides but... against it. No glimpse for Manuel this time. I mean, he can just swing with Basil with a glimpse like he did with the Piccolo. That is true, yeah. Manuel Either. also being a two life, it's a bit dangerous. I mean, I didn't saw a double striker from Christoph yet, but maybe he'd place it. We didn't saw it now, and in game one we didn't saw it. Uh, we didn't saw it already. So let's see. Yeah, I think Crystal's really hoping to see another Goku Black here at some point. And we can't forget that this Vegeta leader is a 35k attacking, so basically oh, okay. guaranteed the damage here. Deciding to leave up or now. Attacking into Christoph. But I think he's going to use the glimpse on the defense side now, so yeah. Yeah, but with that he won't get to recover a extra card. Like a card from the graveyard. This game looks now it's as it's in Christoph's favor. I would agree with that. Having two sw two attacks still available, a thirty five K attacker, and I think he will go for the game this round and this looks like what he's doing ah but he left open two glimpses now which is also nice nice defense here comboing out with two cards so no 10k is available and i think manuel's Chance here would be if Christoph goes all in on his leader swing with two glimpses, he may be able to combo it out. And we will see if Christoph is going to do that or if he is. I mean, he still has to go things, he probably won't. So, will he just combo all in? I mean, he will probably see the final hope slash here. This yeah, final hope slash DK offensively a really strong card. Yeah, I think he's. No, oh, he's not. No. He's just using these two. So this is 35, 45, two and 25. Two glimpses, not recovering yeah. anything. No cards in the end. Just... And now this Gotenks will come down and probably finish off this game. Yeah. Yeah. 
So now we have six minutes left onto the last game. I That's really nice. want to see how the people, uh, how these guys adapt here. Because now Gamano's game plan, I mean, for people curious, how would this work out in the tiebreakers? Um, we first look at the live. Then we look at the battle cards on board. Afterwards, we would look at the deck size and then the hand size. So basically, by the part where we get to the deck cards, it's highly likely to be over. Um, so maybe Manuel doesn't want to take as much life as he does in, did in the previous games. Yeah, for the timeout, it seems to be in favor for the Vegeta because it's like an inbuilt mechanic for Vegeta staying high at life. So let's see if Manuel does something against it. Yeah, but also this changes up some of... Uh, oh, Manuel going of... second now. Deciding to go second. So going second still seems to be great, but maybe he adapted this because um, he gets to attack first now with timeout. Also, Christoph um, deciding to go second on his uh, choice. So that could impact Manu's decision making here. Only five minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. So yeah. both players trying to play it smart and fast. There, there's just a swing. Christoph takes it, can trip, go. Now it yeah. feels like a race. These guys are off to the races, yeah. And I think it's smart taking the energy marker here. Also because you get to attack first. I mean, there's still some time left, right? Because there are uh, some extra turns, and I think in timeout it's 10 minutes extra time, not 5. So we will see some more Dragon Ball here. Sadly, five minutes in real life is not five minutes in Namek. That is all really true, yeah. But this game moving really fast. Krillin coming down and taking a life still. So no real adjustment from the game plan. Christoph has a sickle in hand, so we may see that come down here. Charging it, having one more in hand. Yeah, both players playing so fast, it feels like a speed run. Yeah. Also, oh, the Vegito going down to five. Vegito would be great, but it looks like it's a sickle. Sickle. Yeah. Just keeping the board safe. And we haven't seen Manuel get the Ke uh, Kevlar that is down to one. So if he has it now, that would be really great for him. Yeah, you're right. I didn't see it today from him. Yeah, just looking to get this card down and you can clearly see these guys are playing automatic just cards flipping here yeah i think manuel wants to go go to the early awaken to have the full power of his leader yeah having early 25 on. crit swing is also great oh, he takes it. it's not worth it hitting the zeno taking with the leader again And yeah, there's life left, left, but... And that's the has turned I'm really, really curious, I want Manuel manual use this energy marker. Maybe to get an early double pressure. Or just to have that threatening and have an energy turn with all the double pressure items one turn earlier, we will see. Just deciding against going more and more and awaken with, with Mim being able to take damage last turn. Yeah, yeah. Just one so, bit to fill up and, I guess. Yeah, just, just nothing not to give me. Is it a cycle again? It is a cycle again. So the three suits are already done. I'm using it really, really good because these um, cards are not palpable. And Manuel is really playing at Mach 5 speed here. Yeah, but he has to. He wants to win. Yeah, he's still one left behind right now. I think there's another Khalifa in hand. Yeah. Crazy. Attacking with these guys left and right. And I think this is time where Christoph will take the damage. Yes. Yeah. 
both at awake turn now. He also wants to have his 35k attacker to maybe get rid of these Cauliflus here. Drawing the, the Gohan we saw, uh, the Goten, Gotenks we saw earlier, charging away his secret ray actually, okay. Yeah, the pressure is up. Like, you had all the time to do all your turn four, turn fives, but now. Yeah, now the turns also. Minute, yeah. yeah. Also, the turns now take a lot longer, right? Because there are way more options now for these guys. Yes. Paying five. Oh. So is, is this Pichito? actually the secret rare? Or what will we see here? It yeah. is indeed. Such a beautiful card. And this so is a lot of swing. pressure. This definitely is a lot of pressure coming to Manuel. Oh. Let's defend it once. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, it's super combo. But this is a lot of. A lot of investment to, in, to, uh, to rescue this card. Because there's another super combo needed. But he has it. He has it. Yeah, but still, three cards in hand for one Caulifla. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, Manuel really knows that he has to deal the damage as soon as possible. But there oh. are two super combos in Christoph's hand as well. So is it timeout already? I think we are moving into timeout now. Four, three, two, one, timeout. And we are not in a new year, but in a timeout on this round. Maybe mid-year, I guess. So. <laughs> I don't know about that one, but uh, we would see probably a Goten get down here just to get rid of this Vegito over time as well. Also being able to swing for a lot. And now this becomes a time out dance. Like life is somehow important now again. Yeah, and Manuel's sand size does look a little bit bigger, or even on the same. Oh, he attacked the Vegito, sure. Okay, so he doesn't have a second goal to Gohan here, or he wants to keep his energy marker. We don't know that. I mean, obviously the red hand is a lot bigger, but as we know with Christoph's hand size, it is deceiving with these Gallic guns and uh, other cards like that, right? Yeah. So yeah. with a few minutes left for them, it's really interesting how they are going to win this game. I mean, Christoph's real strategy was to stay high on life, but both being at four life, Hard. And we will see what how he approaches this. He could yeah. Zeno here. But the board that Manuel is showing isn't like the high value board he had in some other games, but it's still a good one. Mm, definitely. Does Christoph have a Zeno in hand? I don't see one right now. Pressure. I feel the pressure, man. I think Christoph is feeling it as well. There are a lot of Saiyans staring down at his leader. This will be... I mean, he has won the Vegito, which can remove a Caulifla, at least. And he still has two super combos, so he is not in immediate danger here. Going for board again. Drawing at trunks, this doesn't really help him. Manuel is smartly playing around the Zeno, but he doesn't know that it's not available to Christoph right now. This will probably be the Vegito coming down, getting rid of one more Caulifla. But I mean, these plays are not winning for Christoph, they're just... Yeah, it's, it, they're it's just slowing down Manuel, turn. right? And we yeah. see the glimpse and the... Double striker in Manuel's hand already. With the energy marker, he has seven energy available next turn if he decides to charge. Yes, they were discussing who's in which turn now. Yeah. So Manuel was in turn zero, Christoph on turn one, so Manuel has only one turn left, right? 
I think it's only three turns in, in best of three as well. I'm not too sure, but I think it is. And with Manuel only, if he only has one turn left. And swinging at the leader, just getting a card out. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Leaving up on energy for that Gallic gun, obviously. Manuel's uh, still having his energy marker, so maybe he's going to use it now. Yeah, highly likely with him going to seven, double strike, and. Well, does he Six have to energy. double strike? I don't know. Seven energy. Yeah. Just counting if it's right. <laughs> Both having good laugh. This will probably go down to a timeout decision here. As we approach the five minute mark really fast, Christoph kind of knows what is going to happen here. Carl Liefler tried to swing into his life. Deciding to attack with the leader before. But Christoph still having one Gallic gun is doing a lot for his combo, but only on three cards, I'm not sure. Glimpse. Uh, looking at it, deciding, push it up, and there it is. Glimpse, taking a 10k combo. So this will probably already be one of the biggest swings here. So this is 50k heading down to Kristoff. Elegant. If she combos out here, we should be done with the game. At this point, Kristoff should have won. Because there's, I don't know if they have 10 minutes or 5 minutes, because now the 5 minute mark is achieved. They may have 10 minutes in the best of 3. I hope it is that way. One more attack, comboing out. Oh, Manuel, looking for all his attackers he has, and he has the freezer. I'm going out. And there is another one. <laughs> GG's. And oh that's... my. Okay. Yeah. Sadly, they had to play it this way, but rules are the rules. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But people, what's happening? They are discussing something. I mean, at the five minute mark, Christoph won, but uh, I don't think people. I don't know. The timekeeper may be at some other point. Yeah, maybe the um, time order. Maybe it's not the same. The, 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 the timer on the, on the video is maybe not the same as in real life. So, yeah, but it seems like Manuel won. Manuel won this, yeah. I'm not too sure as to how this transpired in the end, but um, yeah, with, with us not hearing what the players are talking about. Manuel showing his card to the wrong camera. And uh, now he's no, realizing right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened in the end. Maybe we will get that in the interview but with still, Manuel. Shout out to Christoph for playing it so greatly. Yeah, he, lost really the, he lost going. the first game, won the second. He adapted to Manuel's playstyle. Great. No, we really saw two titans of their color battling it out i think yes both of these guys really knew what their deck was doing and manuel came out on top by a slim margin i mean we had a timeout decision on live so yeah, you can't get closer than this so right fast man so fast and i don't think there was a big misplay from both of them in the last game so they did what they had to do i'm really looking forward to the interview here hopefully we get both players but if not just manuel also could give us good insights, or maybe even Christoph goes for the interview, as Manuel has been a mainstay um, on these interviews, right? Yeah, he did and... it sometimes. So let's switch it up to them, right? Oh. Okay, guys, we are back with the first round of Top 16. Here's our loser. Um, yeah. You lost the game by time. It was pretty close. Yes. You played very well. You are a yeah. very good player. Let's um, just introduce yourself at the beginning. Yeah. What's okay. your name? Uh, Christoph Heiland. Uh, I'm from uh, Eschborn, so near Frankfurt. Uh, yeah. 
so uh, 35 years old, so pretty old guy, I think. <laughs> and uh, came back into trading cards three years ago, and yeah, so and this was like my first uh, top card and first. Oh, day was the first top yeah, card? first top card, not first day two. I, I made it uh, in another TCG mm -hmm. somewhere, but yeah, first top card and first elimination. So mm -hmm. was pretty pumped, uh, pretty nervous, but yeah. Um, I think. Your goal at the end is to make it to top 16. You got yeah. your serial. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Unfortunately, you lost. Yes. But it was pretty close. Let's talk about uh, the game. Yeah. Let's start with game one. How yes. does game one went for you? Uh, game one was pretty hard. Uh, I think um, I uh, I I could not see the word of him because I, I know he played, so mm. I did not knew about the glimpse at the end. Mm. This was like a really uh, hard punishment, like going 50k from glimpse and getting them back. It was uh, unexpected for mm. me. Uh, other than that, I just made a small error for getting the starter coup uh, mm. because I have not played starter coup in like ever. Yeah. I think I think last Same. time last time I played it when uh, at a starter deck battle, and there I played it myself, so mm. it was pretty. But yeah, it went, it, it went as expected. I did not see as much go tanks as I had wanted, and yeah, just just too much pressure. And then at the end, yeah, could, could not could not get out of the 130k yeah, combo power or something so like much. this. And uh, game two yes. went better for you. Yes. You won the game. Yes. Um, what was better for game two? Yeah, game two, I, I could uh, order my resources better. I, I saw all four go tanks, which was really uh, important yeah. to get just outvalue him. He 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 could not get over it, and then just chip him down, get get hand cards uh, everywhere I can. Also, like I think the uh, 5k power push from him is not that important against my leader power because I go to 35, 35 and even yeah. if you have a 20k, he needs to get. 50 more yeah, k more absolutely. combo power or something like this so yeah that was that was pretty well and yeah at the end i just had so much value and he could not go all in for it yeah i i i, I, I this time i stayed on three lives just to be sure that there is no uh goku with glimpse because uh, that's what's also unexpected normally uh, red star stays at fi uh, five yeah. energy but he just uh, i think he skipped like one ramp uh, but otherwise he had seven mm. eight energy that's something normally blue does uh, very well but yeah so yeah, also energy management was something I need to consider better next time when I play some last time. Yeah, like but like you said, it was your first time yeah. uh, for Top Card. Um, do you play? Is, is it your first big event? No, no. Uh, I, I also was also at Cologne, so ah, the last okay. No Heroes mm -hmm. TCG. Uh, there, I uh, in the top meta, I, I made a counter call and played the Tamazu, okay. and there I uh, was Tamazu played uh, 26. So 26, yeah, okay. so uh, was the best Tamazu uh, so at this event. So, so you stay at uh, blue for your day. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This was this was like uh, a last last call mm -hmm. for me because. Mm -hmm. uh, before I played like three or four ultimate battles and I won three of them with Cell. So normally I thought green was really bad, but uh, was really good in this meta. And then I got a reality check with the simulator. Mm. And then I matched like four freezers or so. Mm. And yeah, they just, Cell cannot do anything about it. And I don't want to go into an event where I have like a 2080 matchup. Mm. And that yeah, so I, I, I switched to, to blue. First I started Tamazu, mm. tried that, was not so great against U7. And so I started, okay. Uh, a value Vegeta with a lot of value from Gotenks, from Goku Blacks, and so, yeah, and it was really helpful. Then uh, let's uh, finish with yeah. Game 3. Yes. Game 3, how was uh, the start? How yeah, was the start? no, it, it was, was, was pretty fast-paced played because I, I, I don't want to get uh, him into trouble because yeah. I slow play or something like this. And uh, so get as much turns as possible, and we, we managed that. But yeah, it was like six minutes for when, when we shuffled, mm -hmm. and I knew I need to go to the long game. And I cannot do that in this time. So yeah, tried my best, got everything out. Uh, we we were, at last turn we were both mm. at four lives. I know if he can get alive or a board, then he it's, wins. Yeah, and yeah, it's just uh, just just the three turns. It's, it's, it's like yeah, for for me it's a bit too. Uh, it's not enough. I think uh, when we have end of ten minutes, maybe mm. you get six six turns or something yeah, like maybe, this. Maybe but it's, five or six. Yeah, yeah. then that, that you can play it out better because it's yeah, the best of three. Sense. And then the last, okay, you're middle in and then you need to go. Yeah, this this was like fast paced, and he he can outvalue me there. Maybe it's, this, this is, is also something Bandai will change for the yeah, next sets because maybe. like the rule with going first and yeah, draw. that that was great this yeah, time. It, 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 great. it makes so much yes, fairer. Absolutely. Going second was not as overpowered, yeah. and it was was so much better going first. You have a chance now. This was really great. That's change. a good point about the game because um, Bandai Bandai know what the community wants. Yes, they know okay how can we balance the game, and they did it good. Maybe this is something else yeah. for 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 players to make to top cut. To make uh, five or six rounds in, uh, yes. in overtime and not three rounds. Uh, yes. Like in One Piece, we have 
uh, I think overtime is also 10 minutes, but yes. also three turns. Yeah. So maybe they will change it in the maybe. future. We will see. Maybe we'll see, but yeah. yeah. But but still, especially for, yeah. for Dragon Ball, I, I think for One Piece, you're yeah. right, that, that's, that's great because you have uh, more, uh, it's, it's not as fast paced. Here we are really fast paced. Yes, we, yeah. A turn is like one minute or so. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Makes it, and and there, then, then it's just it's, it's much more fast paced. I think more turns are more valuable in this uh, than in One Piece. For sure, yeah, yeah for sure. But uh, still, like I said, you got your first series. Yeah, thank you. Uh, is it your first big card that you won? On the uh, yeah, I, uh, the yeah. last time I got the Goku, but but this is like yeah, oh, the, the first card. You want uh, to keep it? Or what, yeah, what? yeah, I I will keep it. I will I will open it to, together go. with my fiance at home. She's nice. she's staying home, supporting me with the cats. I <laughs> shout, think. Shout I think out she, to everyone. Yeah, from <laughs> shout out to uh, and I think yeah, she saw how I played. I hope I made her proud and with her support, I, I managed and yeah. <laughs> That's the most important. Yeah. Thing. Congrats for that. Thank you, you very you much. Have, you have the last word to give the final shout out. To yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, my, my dear uh, at home. I hope uh, you, you see this. Uh, also, thank you for Carsten for the fourth tickle. Otherwise, I think I would not have performed like this. And also uh, the other boys, Lunti and Co, with which uh, I, I tested and stuff. And yeah, thank you very much. And also, and no here is CCG for the great event. Thank you. Uh, uh, event. Thank, thank you. Really, thank you very it was really good. Thank you. Have a good yeah. time. Bye bye. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, maybe we have the winner. Let me check where the winner is. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Ah, winner! Come over the interview. We have the winner also here, guys. Big applause for our main main character, Manuel Garcia. Congrats, bro! Thank you. you won the game. Thank you. How do you feel after this match? Uh, good. Yeah. It was a difficult match. It was, yeah. Yeah, the play was really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I had my fun. Um, yeah. That's the most important thing. Uh, game one was perfectly for you. Yes. Game two, what 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 was different uh, between game two and game one? Uh, I don't see anything that I want, mm -hmm. and he played a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Okay. And then uh, game three, yeah, you just won on time. Yes. So I think you are very happy with your pick with Saturday Goku because I think you are doing very good with it. Do you know your uh, opponent for the next round? Uh, yes, it's my teammate uh, Jamil. Is it Jamil? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Jamil! <laughs> Where is he? Okay, so we have uh, Frieza against uh, Goku. Yes. How was the matchup for you? Uh, in paper better, but yeah. I, uh, yesterday I lost against Frieza. Yeah. There he is. Let's go. <laughs> you have the Jamil. microphone. Come in, jump in. This is our next round, guys. Our friends. Shamil and, uh, and uh, Garcia. What's up? Are you happy? Are you excited to play against Garcia? No, I'm not excited to play against him because <laughs> he's playing red and red. Yellow has a really tough matchup against red. GG's. So we will have hopefully a nice match to see, guys. We wish you both the best of luck. And we will play on stream. You will play on stream? Yeah, yeah. I, you, you it will be a play? short stream. Do they, do, they, do they have to play on stream? Of course. No. Ah, no. no? Because, no we, we, we want to see you playing on, on stream. But Garcia was the la last four matches, he played on stream. No, yeah, it's, no, yeah. no, it's okay. We, it's maybe we need Otherwise to Otherwise it will be a like, 10 minute game. And... <laughs> we, we will think about it. So, wish you the best of luck for the next round, guys. Thanks. GG for both players, both top 8. And yeah, guys, that's it for this. We we'll see us top 8. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Bye-bye.